Hi everyone, it's Voice Over Julia and welcome to another Draw With Me video and just a disclaimer, this is not a tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how I work using Procreate and also a little bit of Photoshop and Illustrator in the end. Before we hop in, I'm just gonna show you what I use. I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch second generation together with the Apple Pencil of course and I just started using this last September so it hasn't even been a year. Okay, so before we hop on to some Procreate drawing action, I'm gonna show you first the brushes that I use. So most of these are from True Grit Texture or just the default brushes on Procreate. So the ones that I mostly use from Procreate are 6B Pencil and then the Dry Ink. And then the rest of them are from True Grit. So if you wanna check them out. I'm gonna link it down below. It's called the I use their Rusty Nib Pack, and I think it's about thirty dollars for the Procreate together with the Photoshop brushes. So yeah, if you want to check them out, I'm gonna link it down below. And that's it. These are the brushes for the inking and for color. Sometimes I just use the color fill feature but if I want some texture I use the grainy water shader and then the brush pen blowing like this is this is like my favorite brush because it looks like a real dry brush pen so that's it for the brushes and right now here's a short time lapse of the line art that I made basically I just took a photo of the initial sketch that I did on my sketchbook, imported it on Procreate, and then sketch over it again. That's usually my process, it's just sketch over sketch over sketch until I get things right. And right now I'm just gonna be shading for the next couple of minutes, and I also don't know what else to do to talk about them but yeah and here I'm using the 6B pencil I just like uh, shade all of them shade the hair the eyes everything just to give them a little bit more definition since I'm not doing any heavy painterly coloring I also use the Canif brush number 8 just to add some more stiff and crispier, sharper lines. And uh, yeah, this is what, what we're gonna be doing for just the next few minutes. So if you wanna grab a snack and get your sketchbook or iPad and draw with me, that, that, would, be, that would be really nice. Ryan Little. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm back. I just drank some water and ate my empanada and now we're gonna do the fun part, coloring. And I'm using the grainy water shader brush here for all the clothes, bandana, sweater part of the artwork because it gives a lot more definition because it's already a textured brush. And since we're talking about Procreate, I just want to share a bit of like my quote-unquote digital art journey. Um, I just started using this app last September and honestly it took me a while to get used to it because I have just been using Photoshop and a Wacom, Wacom, I don't know how you pronounce it, Wacom tablet for years and Procreate has a lot of really nice features but there's still a couple of things that I think would be helpful like the pen tool I'm I will just like really be happy if they had a pen tool because it can sometimes be hard to select everything freehand because when I want to color like a specific part um, in Photoshop before I would just like select it using the pen tool so it would have more a more defined and crisp selection which Procreate doesn't have right now but that would be that would be really helpful if they had that feature but aside from all of that I think that Procreate is a really great app especially if you're an illustrator for me, I haven't been really using Photoshop for illustrating since I got my iPad. I'm doing all my illustrations on my iPad and if I want to like add something, a little bit of like texture and some text, I would just import it on Photoshop and just like do like the text stuff on Illustrator.
So right now we're almost done just checking in on some layers if there's like anything that needs any adjustments and I'm just coloring the planet, planet rings, galaxy rings, I don't know what you call them. We're gonna add a paper texture. This is just a personal preference. I love adding paper textures and um, I don't know, it just gives a more traditional look and feel which I really like. It's It looks like you actually did it on paper, like actually illustrated and colored on paper. So I'm leaning lately towards that kind of look. And here we are just adding a background color. This took me a long time because like I'm very indecisive when it comes to background colors and choosing fonts. So those are like the two things that I take the most time, I think, aside from the drawing itself. PSD file and then exported it to Photoshop and here's how it looks like on screen. I really like this bright colors. I used to not do very bright colors because of code and code my branding but that's that's changing now and I'm really loving this like yellows and lilac color and here I'm just taking a second look on some more paper textures and I changed it. I changed the one that I initially placed on Procreate. So this is I think called like the water stains or something. And uh, yeah, I'm just checking out which of them looks best. And right now we're gonna hop on to Illustrator and here I just explore then some type phases, type phases or fonts. Let's just call it the typeface. And um, I went for the Junip Juniper. And I use Adobe fonts by the way because like with an Adobe subscription. You can find a lot of great fonts, so if you're subscribed, you better make use the most of that. So after a journey from Procreate to Photoshop and Illustrator, here's the final artwork. And I don't use this palette really, but it turned out really great and I like how it looks and I like how bright it is. I think I'm gonna be exploring more on brighter colors because I have just been using like primary colors for my sketches for quite a bit now. and. Uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys are staying safe and sane and take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.